need for enough vitamin D production in your skin is really dependent on your skin tone. So I love this question and I agree with everything that you said in your video, but I'm going to give you the probably expected dermatology perspective, which is that my preference as a dermatologist is that people are getting their vitamin D from pills, from oral supplementation, because we know that wearing sunscreen, there have been studies that show this, wearing sunscreen does not affect vitamin D synthesis. We also know that people who were wearing sunscreen while on vacation did see their vitamin D levels go up. And the thought is that people that are wearing sunscreen proactively are spending more time outside. And we do know that even though sunscreen is very effective at helping reduce the risk of skin cancer, some UV radiation does get through the sunscreen. And so you can still get vitamin D even if you're wearing sunscreen. I do not want people to hear that we can get our vitamin D from the sun and think of that as like a prescription to go tanning and to lay out and to, you know, be getting all that UV radiation and damage to their skin. Like, we need to do this in a safe way. That's why I really like oral supplementation and wearing sunscreen and still enjoying activities that you like to do outside because being outside wearing sunscreen, you do get vitamin D production and it does wearing sunscreen protect you from, um, help protect you from the risk of skin cancer and photo aging later in life. So that's sort of my take on it. And when patients ask me in the clinic about it, I tell them this is not an invitation to go lay out in the sun because you need your vitamin D. You can absolutely get it through supplements and you can go outside, enjoy the things you like to do, go swimming, go hiking and wear sunscreen and help your vitamin D levels. I hope that's helpful. Thanks again for tagging me.